Good day everyone, this is Maggie B for Apps for iPads with this Friday's edition of Tips and Tricks. If you've been following us over the past couple weeks, you know that we're doing all sorts of things with photographs that you have stored in your Apple Photo App. Today we're going to take a look at how we're getting pictures into our Apple Photo App. If you missed out on all those other tips, make sure you stop by the website in Tips and Tricks. You'll find them all. But today what we're going to do is we're going to concentrate on how you get pictures, how you can save them from the internet, from a browser. You can save any picture that you find on any website, including Facebook. So if you have pictures of families, family and friends that you would like to save to your iPad for sharing or just looking at later, you can certainly do that. So without further ado, I'm going to show you just how simple it is. All you're going to do is you're going to touch on any picture until it opens up the pop-up box and you can see it gives you the URL where the picture is residing. The op uh, it the uh, option to open it, open a new page, save image, and copy. Open means that it's going to open that picture on the same browser tab just by itself without the clutter of all of the uh, other things on the website around it. Open a new page means it's going to do the same thing but on a different page than the one you're currently on. Save image is what we're going to be using. Copy is you copy it to like a notepad and you can use it then in an email or on any other application that allows copy and paste. So anyhow, we're going to save the image and all you do is you tap on that and you can see that the pop-up box, the dialog box has disappeared, but the picture hasn't. If we come to the Apple Photo app, you can see it's right here to do with it you want. You can do all the other things that we've already taught you to do. So that's it. If you have um, a photo that is not allowing you to do this, you can take a screenshot of it. And if you don't know how to do that, stop by the website. We show you how. This is Maggie B for Apps for iPads. We'll see you on the website and we'll sync with you soon.